I Shalom Akin. I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS, <clears throat> or Great Millstone for short, and Shalom to the elect, who the most I have given ears to hear. Um, the title of this lesson is going to be. You minorities, uh, generational wealth doesn't exist on this side for you. Or I might shorten it. And it goes by way of um, the article, the, the, the older brother um, Judah, I believe is I bought. I believe the brother's name is I bought out there in Mississippi. And um, the lesson he's doing and going to in the want of all things. All right. And. Um, I didn't finish it as you see, but uh, something came to my attention as the brother was reading the article, which this article is about um, <clears throat> how a so-called black family, all right, received a higher appraisal rate because they uh, uh, made it seem as if a white person owned their home. So whereas, you know, when they uh, got an appraisal, all right, with their face on the home, it was what, $279,000 less than when a, a so-called white person or Edomite might show their home? All right, and um, in a portion in this article it says, it is a part of our systematic racism because he's going in, <clears throat> the, the, the homeowner is going into his, um, you know, his, this, I guess you would call it disdain or, you know, for, for the results. And what she found when he, you know, had a, a so-called white person show his home. <clears throat> it is a part of our system, systematic racism that is here in America. But we need to do, do something about it, said Joe Clark, the homeowner, in an interview with King Fog. It's taking away our generational wealth. And, um... You know, for you tribes, you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, that's not for us on this side. The scriptures tell us to arise and depart. <clears throat> Salakia. The scriptures tell us to arise and depart. For this is not our rest. And, um, you know, what's happening now is that Jake, you know, a lot of Israelites, they're making more money. You know, a lot of them are starting their own businesses being successful at it you know which is a beautiful thing however you cannot um i say you cannot get comfortable here you know you can't get comfortable here because this is our punishment you know and the most high yahweh bashim yahweh shai as we always go into brought us over here in captivity to serve punishment the lord told us in deuteronomy 28 and 15 that if you hearken not unto the ways of yahweh Bashim yahweh shai all these curses will come and overtake you okay and according to the curses like it says right here Deuteronomy 28 and 18. I'll start at 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. Now, as we are in, uh, what is it, November 23rd, 2017? I meant Tlaki, 2022. And in a few days, People are going to stuff their face with Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving is a commemoration of the slaughter 
of the so-called Native American. Okay? So-called Native, um, uh, Native Americans, which is our brothers. And what does the scripture say? Thou shalt love thy brother as thyself. Thou shalt love thy neighbor. All right? So just in that alone proves that Israel is sinning right now. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Jumping down to verse 23. And thy heaven that is over thee shall be brass, and thy earth that is under thee shall be iron. Meaning what? What you see um, in your future, all right, ahead of you, basically what you see, Slocky, hold on, let me see something. Clocky. Let me read it again. Deuteronomy 28. Let me start up at uh I'll just read through. Cursed shall thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing. Vexation and rebuke. This is why every year you're marching, no justice, no peace, because your people is getting shot down by the police, which is of another race. All right, and um, nothing is changing. Why? Because we're under the curses. The Most High sent upon us vexation and rebuke. This is why when you go into any white collar place, who do you have? You know, in the CEO offices for 99% of the time. And then look at who do you have cleaning the toilets? Okay? And all that thou settest thy hand unto for to do. Look at Black Wall Street. All right? That was a pillar, if you will, of black excellence. I look, look, look at what happened then. All right? Because we are under the curses until thou be destroyed. And until thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. And our people don't commemorate uh, Hanukkah or uh, Kanaka. They don't commemorate Purim. They're more focused on Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, pagan holidays. When the Lord hates, the Lord said, thou shalt have no other God before me. And by you worshiping these other false holidays, you literally worship in these false gods, these false deities of Babylon and ancient uh, 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 customs. The Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee until he have consumed thee from off the land, whether thou goest to possess it. The Lord shall smite thee with a consumption, with a fever, and with an inflammation, and with an extreme burning. All right, and our people are, um, you know, statistics also show what that our people are, are, are at highest risk of uh you know various uh heart diseases you know uh cancers and so on and so forth the lord shall make the uh jumping down verse 23 and thy heaven that is over thee shall be brass and the earth that is under thee shall be iron you know and um it's always racial profiling for an israelite no matter how much money he has like I remember the Apostle the Hard did a, a video about the uh, Chris, who was it, Chris Rock, you know? And um, yeah, you know, no matter how much money you have, no matter how, how nice of a car you drive, no matter what neighborhood you live in, you'll still be racially profiled, all right? All going into Chris Rock, you know, he had, uh, I don't know if it was his, it, it was in his neighborhood However he was still racially profiled By none other than a so called Edomite cop The Lord shall make thy rain Of thy land powder and dust From heaven shall it come down Upon thee until thou be destroyed Okay So as we read on We see that the curses spell out um, Failure In the long run 
You know, like I said, here it is. It may be that you have certain jakes that, you know, uh, having successful business, but it's not through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. So that generational wealth is going to go out the window soon enough, you know. Jumping down to verse 66, and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and thou shalt have none assurance of life. Okay? We go into that word assurance. As is a positive declaration intended to give confidence a promise. Alright, and generational wealth is uh makes you confident. You know, and that your kids and you, you know, and that your seeds will be good. All right, but we have no uh, assurance of our life. For the most part, Jake is living paycheck to paycheck. And especially with East, you know, if you look at the news and what and what this devil's doing with the money system, he's getting ready to take all those uh, FRNs. No matter if you have five dollars or five hundred thousand. In a bank, you know, or fifty million. In the morning, thou shalt say, "What God it were even," and at even thou shalt say, "What God it were morning." For the fear of thine heart, wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. All right, and going into the staple, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. Which is what where we are today. This is the book of Job, chapter 8. Verse 11. Can the rush grow without the mire? Can the flag grow without water? While it is yet in its greenness and not cut down, it wither it before any other herb. So are the paths of all that forget God, and the hypocrite's hope shall perish. Last one. Alright, and like I mentioned, this is what's going to happen to... Uh, those that don't follow the ways of the Lord. Ecclesiastes 9 and 18. Wisdom is better than weapons of war. But one sinner destroyeth much good. Alright. And if our people are, you know, are, um, are gun, you know, gun, gun ho, so like it, gun ho and wickedness. It's only, a, you know, you teach your, your, chi your kids and not wickedness, you know. And the cycle of a uh, 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 death essentially it continues. You know, hey, this generation is known as Generation Z. So, like I said, you go into generational wealth spiritually, you know, physically. Would that even make? Does that even make sense? All right. Most importantly, spiritually, because we understand that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is the author of our lives. You know, scriptures say He heals, He wounds. All right, he creates prosperity and adversity. All right, but like we, like we, like I just mentioned, he created uh, adversity on this side for us because we went away from his ways. Now, on the flip side, in the world to come, starting off with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the elect who have kept his ways. All right, that's when prosperity can uh, ensue. Alright, because he's going to put his laws in our inward parts. Alright, let me end it off there actually. That's why the scriptures say that we should uh, pray for the kingdom when the well of righteousness. Right? Second Exodus 7 and 43. 7 and 42 He answered me and said This present life is not the end Where much glory doth abide Okay 
again, curse shall be thy eyes. I don't know if I went over that curse, but it says, um, thy eyes shall fail thee. How's it go? And among these nations, Deuteronomy 28, 65, shall thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest, but Yahweh shall give thee a trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. Okay? Case in point, just look at that documentary, the 13th. You know, and anytime throughout history, even after slavery, like Jake like to say, forget slavery, anytime even after history, you can find uh, a mass amount of casualties at the hands of you, uh, of you um, Israelites under Esau Edom. All right. Jake still coming up missing daily. All right. But going back to second Ezra 7 and 43. But the day of uh, 42, this present life is not the end with much glory doth abide. Therefore have they prayed for the weak. But the day of doom. Mm, damn, that's a lot. I should have started at 41. Even so now, seeing corruption is grown up, wickedness increased, and righteousness have prayed, and the righteous have prayed for the ungodly. Wherefore shall it now be shall it be so now also? He answered me and said, Alright, this is Ezra's uh reasoning with the angel of the Lord, I believe it's Uriel. This present life is not the end with much glory doth abide. Therefore have they prayed for the weak. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time. Okay? So the day of doom, those nuclear missiles, alright, coming after what? The MOTB in which the devil is going to um do away with this monetary system and put a RFID chip in you. And the beginning of immortality for to come. All right. So this generation has to pass away. This wicked generation. Before immortality, before generational wealth can ensue. For to come where incorruption is past. And temperance is at an end. Infidelity is cut off. Righteousness. Righteousness. It's like it. Righteous, righteousness is grown and truth is sprung up. You see, the Prince of Peace, Yahweh Shai, has to come back, you know, and right the wrongs of the wicked, of you two thirds, you know, and um, accept the elect physically. Okay, and through them, you know, all of Israel can be saved, you know, and we can come into our gloriousness, man. You know, so we have plenteousness of everything. All right, Deuteronomy 28 and 1 through 15 can ensue because, like I mentioned before, his laws is going to be in our inward parts and we will observe and do all of the commandments prescribed unto us. Okay. Hey, so with that, Shalom to the elect.